Hey everyone, so um, time to give Natas level 5 to level 6 a go. Uh, we have our username Natas6 and our URL, and I have logged into that just here. Uh, so we have this screen where we have to input a secret. We have the submit button and we can view the source code for the sort of the program, the web app. Um, okay, so first things first, let's just randomly put something in here and hit submit and see what happens. So it lets us know that we've got the wrong secret. So I'm sure you've guessed uh, that we have to put the correct secret in here and it's going to give us the NATAS7 password. Or at least that's what we would expect, right? But obviously we have no way of knowing what that secret is, so we're going to view the source code and see what's going on here. So as usual we don't have to worry about the head of the of the file, we could just have to worry about this body. And immediately we're confronted with the fact that we've got this new sort of uh, type of code here with this new tag and and this is PHP code. You can tell by these, these opening and closing tags and, and also by the, the syntax and yeah so this is PHP code. So I should say if you haven't done any PHP now's the time to probably stop this video and go out and do a little bit. Uh, there's a really good code academy course uh, which just will get you up to speed with the basics and that's what I did and it, it gives you enough just to sort of be able to progress further with these sorts of challenges so I'll link that down in the description just in case you would like to also have a look at that and of, of course I'll try and talk about it a bit and explain the key points of what we need for this particular challenge anyway um, so before we go on to the PHP script I need to talk about the form that's here. So the form just corresponds to this form, right, with the input field here in our submit button. Now you can see that each of the inputs has like its own name, so the input where we put our secret is named appropriately secret, and the, the submit button is also appropriately named submit. And it has this method which is post. Now what is going to happen when we hit, when we type something into here and hit submit, what's actually happening behind the scenes is we are sending a HTTP POST request in this case, that's because that's specified here as the method. We are sending a HTTP POST request um, to the server, right, to natas6.natas, to this URL essentially. And what that's going to consist of is the body of that particular request is just going to contain name like some name value pairs uh, and those names are going to be just the names of these input fields or this or these sort of forms these input types and the values are going to be well for the submit button it could be anything it's going to be sort of specified by um, the people that wrote the code um, and for the secret the value is just going to be whatever's in this box. Now the reason I need to tell you this is because we're going to have to use this in the PHP code if we want to kind of understand what's going on. But to sort of demonstrate a little bit more of this form, um, I've got burp open here and I'm going to put on intercept and we're just going to send some random stuff. Okay, so I'm going to write a random string in again and hit submit. Oh. And we can see the, the, the HTTP request that's going out to the server, right? So as you can see, it's a POST request. Um, and we have all the headers, like we normally would do with the GET requests. Um, and the, the important thing is that we have the body of the text just contains all the input um, sort of names and their values from the form that we've sent. So as you can see, the value that we put in the, um, in the input box just then it's been put with secret and then you have this particular syntax right where you have name value and name value so this is just the random thing that they've put for the submit button um, but it's important to know that that's just what's happening okay that we're just sending this post request and then what's happening in return so I'll get out of burp now is that the the server is receiving our request and then responding by sending back a page and in the instance where we've put the wrong secret, it's sending us back a page that has this new bit that says wrong secret on it. 
Okay, so that's important because now we can talk about the PHP. Now PHP uh, stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor, so it's like um, a recursive acronym. It has PHP in its acronym, uh, and there's a few of those things. You'll see them quite a lot. But what it does is essentially when you request uh, a page from this server, it's going to evaluate this this um, script first and then it's going to input HTML corresponding to this script and then send you that page. So in the instance, like as a high level overview, in the instance where we get the secret wrong, this code is going to evaluate just to the words wrong secret, wrong secret here, okay? And then it's going to send that with wrong secret. So you're not going to get any of this code in our final in this, so if we hit Control and U, we don't see any of this code here. That doesn't get sent to us. Just what this code evaluates to gets sent to us. And in that case, it's just wrong secret. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's come out of this. Okay, so with that in mind, let's have a look at this code. So let's forget about this for a second. But this if statement. Now what it's doing is we need to talk about this post variable here. So this post um, super global variable uh, is is basically so this these dollar signs and um, sort of indicate dollar signs something is a variable in PHP. Um, and what this dollar sign underscore post is is the page the script looks to see if it's received any post name value pairs and if it has it puts them in an array uh, and that array is this this variable uh, dollar underscore post so what this first line statement is doing is it's it's checking to see if there's a if there's a name value pair where the name is submit and of course as we saw in burp uh, we, we can't see it now but as we saw in burp when we hit submit it sends a post request with one of the uh, key name or one of the name value pairs is submit equals and then it had like submit form or something as its value so what this is doing is it's checking to see if that submit uh, name value pair is there and if it is it's then checking it's no, then sort of executing this next next if statement where it's checking if the variable secret is the same as the variable in this array called secret so that is the the the, uh, the value of this this evaluates to whatever we put in this box so it's checking to see if this secret is what we put in the, what we put in the box and if it is it's saying access granted password for NATA 7 is and obviously it doesn't tell us that here because that would defeat the point of this uh, challenge okay and if not it's saying wrong secret like we already knew okay so all we need to do then now that we know this information is find what this secret variable is um, and you would expect it to be in this page but it's not so where is this secret variable? That's what we. That's what the sort of challenge has now become. Uh, and that brings us to this include statement. So in PHP, this include statement, what it means is that you you pass it a a file, and then it will evaluate that file at this line, and then carry on. And what that means in our context is that if there's a variable in that file it's going to evaluate it and it's going to become part of this the scope of this particular um, document so that means that that variable will then be callable um, later on in this in this code which is what's happening here right so we what we would expect is that in this include so in this file here there's going to be a variable called secret being declared and then we're accessing that here later on in the script so now what we need to do is think about how do we access this file and so you would think it being secret this is probably not accessible from someone on the internet you'd have to have admin permissions or something 
but we never know, right? So we're going to check it. So all we're going to do is we're on the correct URL. So we're just going to put forward slash includes like this, and we're just going to hit enter. OK, and we've got a blank page. But that's not a bad thing, because we haven't got a 404 error, or we haven't got any sort of unauthorized error to say that we shouldn't, we can't access this page. We've accessed it, so let's just look at the, the source code. And as you can see in the source code, it literally all it does is a PHP code, and all it's doing is declaring this variable secret. So that's what we need, right? That's what we need for our input field. So now we can take that. Um, come up here, go back here to paste it in here. You can see obviously I've done it before. And hit submit. And we have access granted in the password for NATA 7. Okay, so I was pretty brief and quick with the PHP there, but uh, this is a great point for you to, to try and learn a bit more about it. And uh, I hope what I've said kind of makes sense in context of just giving us enough to get through this particular um, challenge. Okay, um, but yeah, starting to get a little bit more fun, right? Um, okay, so I shall see you in the next one.